It is that time yes, again, is. Chris McGee. It is time for Digital Highlights. Cal Poly, the visitor once again, taking on the University of Texas, trying to make it 32-0 at home. That's a tough match row, for the say. Mustangs because the horns at home are dominant. And look at Bailey Webster getting up high and delivering down the line. Tough serving by Hannah Allison as well. But I was so impressed with Nicole Dalton. Seven blocks today for the setter, Paul. Well, this is just a very, very nice job. Shader McNeil has been off to a wonderful start. We didn't think we would see Cat Bell in there. She was in the lineup at least for a little bit of time and, and looked just fine. We had that really nice story about her rehab and great work by the training staff and medical crew at UT. Without a question, so great to see Cat Bell back in the lineup. You see the athleticism of Bailey Webster right there and the tough serving of Haley Eckerman. But Shader McNeil continues to impress the lone senior on this roster. Dominant once again. She's hitting over 500 for the season. There were, however, some unusual, <laughs> some might call it comical points to that match. That was set point number one in the second set. But you know, there's going to be a lot for Texas that they got to improve on and talk about. And I'm sure Jared Elliott is in the locker room right now saying, ladies, we got to improve on a lot of things if we want to get to where we need to be and where we have the ability to get to. And it was great seeing Ashley Bannister on that last play get into this ball game and make some plays, recovering from her injury. But Molly McCage, the freshman, number five, the number one recruit in the country, debuts with eight blocks. Texas wins it, three sets to none.